What's going on guys? My name is Kerry and this is my channel where every week I upload a video talking about manufactured homes. So if you're thinking about buying a manufactured home, there is one common mistake I see 90% of buyers make and I'm here today to tell you what that is so you can avoid making it yourself. This simple tip will ensure that you get the right house for your lot and not just a lot for your house and you'll be able to enjoy the house for years to come with no regrets. The thing so many people do is they put the cart before the horse and they pick their floor plan before they know where they're gonna put it. And the problem with that is, is when the house arrives on the lot, if the lot's the afterthought and not the first consideration, you walk into your living room, you walk into your bedroom and bam, there's the neighbor's shed. Whereas if you would have moved the window three feet to the left, you'd be looking at a tree or your garden instead of the neighbor's shed. It's so easy to do before, but you need to pick the lot, decide where you're gonna put the home, go stand on it, and then pick the house and make the changes before it's built so you can enjoy the views in your house with no regret because it's so easy to make the changes before, but it's hard to move your neighbor's shed. And if you do, they're gonna be mad. So I'm gonna show you where I did this on one of my projects. Uh, I picked the lot, I stood on the lot, I picked the plan, and then I made the changes so that the plan then fits the lot as, as good as it can, and it's gonna be something that can be enjoyed for as long as the house is there without looking at the neighbors were looking at the trees. Here's the original plan of a home I've got ordered for a project I'm working on. So I knew right away I was limited in length at 44 feet, so I couldn't go longer, but I wanted more space. So I went two feet wider, and that allowed me to add a second bathroom, which turned the floor plan into this. So this is what drafting came back with. We've got the extra two feet of width. We've got the half bathroom in the main bedroom, but we've still got a problem. This big picture window off the living room, it has a view that looks like this. The infamous neighbor shed right there for you, ladies and gentlemen. So what we wanna do is change the sight line. We're gonna move that window to the side of the house because you don't wanna look at the neighbor. The neighbor doesn't want you looking at them. So it's a two way street. It's better for both people. We move that window to the side of the house and you know what we're gonna do one better. We're gonna add another window and that view is gonna look like this. By simply moving the window from the end wall to the side wall, now your sight lines into your own yard. You can see someone pull into the driveway if they visit. You can see the kids playing. You can see whoever's on the deck hanging out. You see your beautiful Kentucky bluegrass lawn. Everything you wanna see and nothing you don't by simply making one change because you took the time to pick your lot before you picked your house. So this is the final floor plan that we submitted to be built for that lot. You can see we got the three windows along the front looking into our own yard and letting in a lot of natural light. We've made a few other changes through the house. Maybe you can pick those off from the original plan. But to summarize, the four steps you wanna take when you're buying a manufactured home. One, pick the lot you're gonna put it on. Two, pick the floor plan you're gonna put onto the lot. Number three, customize the floor plan to that lot, to that yard, depending on what you wanna look at. And number four, if you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to my page. That's all I've got for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.